Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we made our way to Terrytown and helped both Hudson and Ronson bid adieu to their daughter Madison. It was quite the exciting and endearing episode, so definitely go check that out. But in the meantime, now we're gonna catch up with everybody and see what Hudson is up to now. We also have Minari over here. We were talking about how Hudson and Ronson had their wedding ceremony here. I do hope we're still around to see Madison's wedding ceremony. Why wouldn't we be? You're still a young woman, dear. Ah. <laughs> That's right. All right, well, let's go ahead and talk to these two. A Pokemon looks like. Hmm. What I'm trying to say is, a Pokemon's most distinguishing feature is its nose, which you'll find squished upon its face like gloof. <laughs> its ears, on the other hand, are quite whoopy, and its horn goes swift. Hmm, that description of yours. Can't say I get the picture. What's going on? Oh. Ah, hello. I appreciate you helping me with Madison. That was a rough patch there, but I feel a lot better now that things uh, th about things thanks to you. Ronson is back to working on those dream homes, so I better get back to work too. Ah, sorry. If you don't watch out, I'll start talking your ear off again. You've been a good listener. Thanks for that. This is Kilton. He moved into Terrytown the other day. He asked me to make a sculpture of a monster for him. Sorry, sorry. I'm an awful describer, thanks. I would draw you a detailed picture of a Pokemon if I could, but there's no art to be found in the bones of my body. But fret not, I, Kilton, will describe the monster to you with more enthusiasm and much zest. Surely that will help. Uh, well, it would be better if I had a detailed picture to refer to. How about this picture? I got quite a few pictures of monsters. Uh, which one am I choosing? I, I wish I could just choose from my compendium. I can't choose from my compendium? Seriously? I have a bunch of pictures there. Why can I only choose from my album? <laughs> Never mind. Uh, if only I had a detailed picture of a Pokeplay. So Monsters Collection 1 is our current goal. We, we can work on this a little bit later, I think, but Kilton wants Hudson to craft a sculpture that looks like a Pokemon for him, but he's finding it difficult to describe what a Pokemon looks like. Hudson explained that he'd have no problem making the sculpture if he had a detailed picture of what the monster of the monster to look at for reference. Okay, so we'll deal with that later. I think for most of today, I wanna focus on getting to that dragon's tier. Of course, that was um, right here, the dragon's tears. We visited the 11 G glyphs and witnessed all the memories in the dragon's tears. Afterwards, a light dragon appeared above you and shed a new tear. The tear seems to have fallen to the wrist peninsula in the Akala region. I wanna get to that. So I think we'll be ha focusing on that for now. And since we haven't really too much, I would like to get over to the Hudson Construction Area and talk to more characters there, but it looks like there is another quest to begin on this side. Oh. Welcome to Hudson Construction. With Madison off on her own little adventure, it looks like I can resume working on dream homes. <laughs> Hudson Construction's whole business is built around supporting our customers as they assemble their dream homes. Maybe you're thinking a little basic, like a kitchen or a fully furnished room or something more. We're here for you. Maybe you want to add a nice space to display some of your favorite pictures, or a place to take care of your beloved horse. But that's nothing compared to what's really important and all of our customers truly enjoy, which is wow. the opportunity to assemble all these individual rooms on their own. You pick the rooms you want, and then you can put them together the way you always imagined. That's the real core of the service we provide. We even give a little commemorative gift to celebrate starting down the path of dr to dream home ownership. You know, our whole family is in your debt for all you've uh, for all your help with Madison. If you're interested in a dream home, I'll set you up with a discount. It's my way of saying Sark so. You know, thank you. A dream home, please. <laughs> you're interested in a dream home? That's great. There's a vacant plot in a prime location. I'm sure you'll like it. Ordinarily, the land alone will cost 3,000 rupees, but as a special gift for you, I can offer land rooms combination deal for only 1,500 rupees. What do you say to that? I can't afford it for now, but we'll definitely come back to it. I see, well, I will reserve the land in case you change your mind in the future. Please come see me if that happens. Until then, Sivork. So was there any other quests we could figure out here? Um, what's a dream home? House and Construction is your number one choice in home building partnerships. We are here to make your dream of building the ideal home a reality. What's our secret? Why it is Hudson's construction unique room by room building style. With a revolutionary system, you can take the rooms that we sell here and assemble them yourself. We hope you'll make Hudson Construction your partner for all of your home building wants and needs. <sighs> Phew, I'm sure I'll get used to, used to it eventually, but the script Hudson wrote for me is a real mouthful. Okay, so we'll definitely help with that at some point, but for now, don't have that much cash. Is this guy over here still? He's not. 
So I want to ride this rail car. Last time I had to glide over because it wasn't available, but now it's here. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Just hop on, give it a smack, and off we go. Whoa, it's weird that it activates my battery. Does it do that for everybody else? I'd imagine not, but. All right, we're heading down here. Whoa, here we go. We're moving. This is so cool, it's like a roller coaster. Hudson Construction Site. So we were here before, we're here now again, but we have plenty of people to talk to now, so that's great. Oh, I guess this is where I could have connected the battery. It's gonna keep going. Uh, can I turn it off? There you go. Uh, hi. <laughs> Son and done. Hey, it's rare to have visitors at the workshop. Were you looking for the entrance to Terrytown? If you're going there, a rail car right in front of you should come in handy. Well, I already know about all that. Lately, folks have been into affixing decorations to weapons and shields and such. Turns out most of them can't deconstruct what they've done. So my brother Pellison started a business to do it for them. He gets it done, son and done. Give it a shot sometime. Will do. So, yeah, I guess I want to explore this area, especially this thing. Looks like there's somebody here too. This thing is. Ah, are you interested in this too? Oh. Look at this. It seems like there might be things inside of it. I wonder if we can get them out. This thing fell from the sky at the time of the upheaval. But what is it? Where did it fall from? Secrets Within. Polcho, the Zonai survey team, has taken an interest in the device dispenser. He wants to know how to remove what's inside. Well, I can definitely help out with that one. I wonder, can we remove things inside of it? What is this? Why is it here? Well, we know all about it. We walk up to this little terminal. Uh, we go to our stuff. Okay, by type, here we go. Now I can go all the way down. And we can hold five of these and load it up and get a bunch, whole big bunch. I don't know which ones will be in this one, so we'll find out together. Boom. Ooh, nice. Big rewards. Doesn't look like anything too new, but huh? That's what those things are? There are Zodai devices inside this thing? Yes, there are. I think, yes, I actually think this might possibly be a truly amazing discovery, probably. And contraptions like this one have shown up in places other than just Terrytown. Kakariko Village in Nekluda, south of here is one. And there's one in the southwest too, at Dig Dog Bridge, near the entrance to the Gerudo region. Could it be that the types of Zonai devices inside each area's contraption are different? Questions require answers. We've got to investigate the other contraptions. But before that, I feel the need to ceremonially reward you for your big discovery. Give us a lion. Thank you. Oh. I found it while investigating some fallen ruins. It's a rare. It's rare and was never seen before the upheaval. So its properties are something of a mystery. But there's a research team studying the plan in Kakariko Village. That's to the south of here in Nekluda. If you want to learn more about it, you might try talking to them. Oh. Anyway, I'm off to more big adventures and discoveries. Hope to see you again. Well, I'm glad I could help and get that little side adventure done pretty quickly. Secrets Within. You removed a Zonai device from inside the device dispenser and showed it to Polcho. His curiosity satisfied, he went off to continue his research. That's great. So since we have it, I'll go ahead and grab all of these. Doesn't look like anything new from that, but there's plenty of people around here to chat with. So I see you over this way. Before you were talking about, you know, somebody coming over, and I think that they're over now. Good morning. Hey, you're the guy I met in the village. Oh no, okay, I'm getting it mixed up. Finally introduced myself all proper to President Hudson. Ah. He told me they, they do need help, and it's way more it's way more help than I anticipated. Got some good sleeping in and ready to do some heavy lifting. Are you here to help out too? If you do, watch out for the holes I made while I was working. You could fall right in. <laughs> I will definitely steer clear of that. But there's so many Zonai devices around that maybe I could build a little something later if I wanted to. There's a lot going on around here. So I like the vibes. That's at the standard. Hi. Ah. Good morning. Huh? Who are you? This is a Hudson construction site. We're doing critical work that can't be done anywhere else. It's no place for civilians. Uh. Not to mention the falling ruins. Those are incredibly dangerous. You really shouldn't be here. Hudson Construction? <laughs> Hudson Construction is the number one construction company. And they don't do only do buildings, like the ones at Lookout Landing. They also build machinery, like the the Skyview Towers, amazing. And just wait until you hear about their latest invention. Mm. This balloon. 
Can you believe it was made using Zonai devices? Pura has taken a keen interest in all the Zonai devices were found here, so she asked Hudson to make this balloon from, for the Zonai survey team to use. Thanks to this thing, the scope of our research has broadened considerably. <clears throat> anyway, as I was saying, we do critical work here. No civilians allowed. Critical work? More Zonai artifacts fall here than anywhere else. It's completely unrivaled. I wonder why. Look, see that? Only three have been found on the surface. To someone on the Zonai survey team, a site like this is a dream come true. <laughs> Imagine rare research materials just falling into your lap. Incredible. <clears throat> I got a little carried away. Anyway, people are working here, so please give them some space. Ooh. If you're headed to Terrytown, that rail car to the east is the quickest route. Good to know. So I guess there might be quite the Sky Tower or Sky Archipelago above us dropping some stuff. So definitely have to explore that at some point. And there's some other things above that one area we'll be heading to soon enough. Anybody else around here to chat with though? And that's who we were talking to before, right? No, no, we were talking to them before. So who is this? Hello. And there was also that well we'll have to hop into. From what I've been hearing, Goron City is back in business which means I better hurry up and finish work out here so I can get back to Yenoboko HQ. Ooh. You a traveler? Careful now, the ground is uneven. What with all the debris everywhere, I wouldn't wander around too much if I were you. I think I'll be okay. We're pretty good at, you know, falling in the holes. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll go into the well now since it's here. This of course will be the construction site well. It's gonna fall down a little bit, maybe. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, glide. And there's some frogs down here. Let me see if I can't grab them in time. Gotcha, no I didn't. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, there's one over here. Gotcha. And I'll just break this open with my wooden stick, but I should probably use something a little bit more strengthened. Like this one, I'll use this with that. It's at least something. And then, whoa, hey. Got a lot of little critters over here. Couldn't quite grab any of them because of the bright bloom seeds, but is that really it? It's not it. There's something definitely up here. So if I could just switch to bomb flowers, I think that's a good idea. Okay, that should be enough to climb up it. And a discovery. We are now in the construction site cave. Oh, toss that in there. Ow, okay. You know, I could have done a better job at being careful, but. Guess we'll try that again for this next spot. Yeah. Cool. And whoa, we got some more uh, devices here. That's cool. So I'll get the small wheel, a bunch of small wheels actually, and rocket, fan, steering stick. Seems like there's a few more things to get here, but to get to them, I'm not sure what we do. Uh, I mean, obviously we have the bubble frog in there, but how do I get to you? I don't see a way through any of this. Maybe there's a button to press or something? Or maybe there's just another hole to fall into somewhere. Really hard to tell from here, so I'll have to keep looking around. But as it currently seems, we're not currently done that cave. Okay. So yeah, whenever we see anything blocked off like this, maybe there's a hole deeper inside. That really seems to be the idea. So I will fall down through this one, and that's where we'll find our little froggy buddy again. Come on, ooh, ooh, don't attack me, don't attack me. Don't have much health left and I do not want to tie to a frog. <laughs> that could be a little embarrassing, but I'm sure Colton will be pleased to hear that we have ourselves another bubble gem. Okay, so there was more on the other side over in that direction. So I guess I'll go check that out now. Might be a little bit faster just to do this. Okay, back up here. And it was over this way. Yeah, I can already see the hole. They weren't kidding, it's quite a big hole to fall into, but. Oh, no, actually, never mind. Wait, wait, here it is. What do we got going on here then? Actually, there's not much to this one. Okay, a little underwhelming with that, but that's okay. We'll make our way out of the cave and back up here. So, hmm. One more is there to do here in the construction site. We might be all wrapped up but I figure we'll check out the other side of things, just to be sure. Looks like there's another building on this side, and these are all just empty plots that I guess Terrytown will expand into. 
seems like quite the operation. Okay, there's a lot more people over here. It's like I told you, you tricked us. These two look familiar, actually. I think we knew them from Breath of the Wild. Hey. Furnison, this isn't what we agreed to. We left the desert and trucked all the way here because you said we'd get to drive a vehicle like no one's ever seen before. Maybe we saw them earlier in this game, I can't remember. And now that we're here, the only vehicle you've got is some piece of junk that no one can control? What kind of fools do you take us for? Uh. You've got it all wrong, it's like I said before. I'm working with Hudson Construction to make vehicles out of the Zoni devices and other debris that fell from the sky. And yes, it's true, we haven't figured out how to control these vehicles, but that's why we asked you here. We're hoping professional racers like the two of you can offer some guidance. Uh. So what's it? What are you even talking about? We're racers, not scholars, okay? Don't try to confuse us with your fancy words. Oh. Hmm. You found nothing among these Zoni devices capable of controlling your vehicles? Mm. Sadly, no. None of the devices we found here in Terrytown Terry ah. work. Hey, 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 I'm standing right here. Don't cut me out of this little chit chat. Didn't you say those Zo thingamabobs are from the Age of Legends? You're trying to tell me that something that old and run down is still useful? Please. Oh. We did come all the way here. It couldn't hurt to put our heads together. Besides, it's important for a racer to know her ride as well as she knows her own hands. Wasn't it you who taught me that, Siobhan? Oh. <laughs> Fine, if Tally wants to help, then help is what we'll do. Master of the vehicle prototype, or master the vehicle prototype. Furnace into the, from the Zonai survey team, with help from Hudson Construction, has been turning Zonai devices into vehicle prototypes. She has one all ready to go, except for one problem. No one knows how to control it. None of the Zonai devices that fell on Terrytown seem to do the trick. So, Furniston has called on a couple of professional racers, hoping they might help. So I think we'll help with them at some other point. There's a lot to do here in Terrytown, but I think, just like with all the other villages we've really visited, we're gonna be returning to all of them just to sort of chop through a bunch of side quests. So I think we'll definitely have an episode returning to Terrytown to focus on side quests here, too. But since we've done everything we really can, I would like to make my way over this direction. Because you know what I want to do. I want to figure out that dragon's here and figure out what's going on with that, that dragon. It might be Zelda, apparently. So that has me, has me very, very curious. So we're just gonna keep going this way. We have Malin Bay over this direction too. So there's all sorts of things to figure out. So we're heading in the right direction now. We just have to go down here and figure out this whole path that seems very fancy. And then there's another stable over that way. I don't think we'll quite get to that today, but there's another shrine. And then there's that old um, science lab. Sort of forgot about that one. Okay. South Akala Stable, East Akala Stable, and Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Cool. Oh, and it looks like there's gonna be another hole over there. Which, yep, definitely matches up with the map. I wanna figure out everything here first, though. And it looks like there's a little outpost over here as we get closer to this um, lake, or whatever it might be considered. So I wanna sort of circle all the way into it. I remember there being a bunch of monsters, and there's another pirate ship out there. So they weren't just at Laurel and Village. Interesting. Are there any monsters on top of this? I would think there is, but okay, it looks like it's just you over here. Hi! <laughs> They're waving at me. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna wave right back and knock you out. Was that really it for here? I guess we could make a little sail if we wanted to, but once again, I, I figured we would do it just by walking. And I don't know where that Rod one, it's right over here. I don't know if we really need it too much, but always cool to have it, I suppose. Uh, the ruby sword. If I have the inventory space for it, why not? I should probably eat food. I probably should have slept at the town. I, I forgot about the, the inn. That was the one thing I didn't do. It's okay. Uh, for now, I will just have this cheesy risotto and maybe some extra speed would do us good. Let's do this one. There we go, so we got speed up. We are really moving now. This is three times speed up. We are so quick. I love it. Okay, and I will use the opportunity to break some of these boxes. Lots of arrows from that one. This person doesn't see me quite yet. We only have this for four minutes, so it's the only unfortunate thing. Oh no, don't hit me, don't hit me. Got it. All right, ready? Let's switch weapons. <laughs> or not, maybe we won't even need to. Looks like you're getting dealt with one way or another. All right. See ya. Oh, you're not actually drowning. I thought you would be. 
One more. Got it. Okay, actually, if you're gonna drop a huge bundle of 15 arrows, then it's definitely worth it to get over there. Okay, still rushing over here. This is sort of the star of the spiral part of the island, which of course is Wrist Peninsula. And there's even more pirate ships out there. I can't wait to explore those. Another shrine waiting down that way. Might have to get a little bit closer before I mark it. So interesting. There's just a lot to do on this side of Hyrule, which I'm really excited about. Kill a little guy over there, but shouldn't it be too bad fighting them, I think. I wanna get a little bit closer, but then we just launch our arrow. Wait, one more time. Come on, I thought that was close enough for sure. I was wrong. Can't believe that didn't knock them out. It's just a green Lazophilus. Usually they're pretty easy. I remember this area being a bit of a challenge in Breath of the Wild. I don't know if that'll be the case here, but oh my gosh, you were actually tough to hit. I need to get closer. Oh no, you don't. Okay, gotcha, you're gonna fall. You actually don't take that much damage, though, and you are a lot more concerning. So let's go ahead and just, okay, cool. Uh, let's get some help here maybe. Okay, that was not good. Can you please, that is actually getting a little upsetting. Jump and slam me, break that shield. Now we just have the silver Lizophis office to deal with. Please and thank you. Do some damage with that. Let's switch to a weapon. You know what, let's use this ruby sword. There we go, set you on fire a little bit. That's good. Switch over to the Gloom Spear, I suppose. I mean, we're out in the sun, so we should get that heart back pretty easily. Which, if that's the case, we have a Gloom Spear Spear, don't we? This has 80 damage to it, so probably better to use this. Got it, okay. Enemy pretty easily dealt with. We get the Steel Lizel Bow. How do I not have this one? This bow is wielded by Lazophos, who are expert marksmen. The metal that reinforces much of the weapon adds some additional weight, but offers heightened durability. That's so cool. So I'll definitely want to uh, go and just drop that really quickly. Or did I not even, I didn't even pick it up. So take a quick picture of the Steel Lizel Bow. Glad to have it. I'm just surprised we haven't run into it already. So it seems like a pretty tough one. If we could switch to what do I want to drop here? I mean, it's good to have the zoom in feature, so maybe I'll just drop a royal bow, seeing how it's a little bit stronger than that. Certainly not complaining at 43. Pick up all those two, and we're just gonna continue our little running expedition. We still have two minutes left on this, so I really want to make the most out of it. So go, go, go. With the spiral our way all the way over, and I think there's some kind of puddle over there that's gonna have another dragon to your memory. That's what I'm hoping for, at the least. There are, of course, still monsters waiting for us, and I see you over here, Mr. Water Octorok. Pop up, see what happens. Oh, I got you, never mind. You don't even need to pop up. I don't think this headshot would work, but I'm gonna try it. It didn't work. Um, let's try this to rock hammer smash. To get rid of some of that shield. Oh, okay. Could've been better, could've been worse. But now we can just swing at ya. Gotcha, gotcha. I think we'll probably just end up dropping this since it's already so beat up. We'll want to equip something to that thick stick eventually, but for right now this should be good enough. I love how fast we're moving though, it's very convenient. We still have a minute left of it, so I really want to make the most out of the situation. I do see you way over there though. And if I could, once again, line up my shot. I got gotcha, you. I think. Actually, this time I actually just hit Oh, wow, that hurt. I just hit the, the, the Lizophos. Okay, you know, maybe we could separate ourselves from them and it'll be fine. Who knows? Because that really hurt. I don't know if I have any food I want to deal with right now. I want to wait until I can get some of this stuff eaten again. That'd be great. But um, I guess I could get some extra stamina back so I can keep running. Okay, let it restore again. Keep it moving, keep it moving. There's more of those monsters. Okay, I'm coming for you. This time, I'm switching back over to this thing. I'm gonna jump, slam, boom! That was so good. That was so much better than last time. And uh, I don't need any of that, but still, pretty cool. We're just moving so ridiculously fast, though. I'm just gonna use up the extra gold bar of stamina I have here, and then try to launch that at you. I actually overshot it. There we go. You're gonna fall into the water. I might just, whoa, wanna wait. Okay, I'm getting attacked from every angle at the moment. 
It's a little overwhelming. Is there anything over here? There's a little rock here. Could this be a Korok seed? It very well could be. It is! All right, well, amidst all this chaos, we get ourselves another Korok seed. And that is going to be our 12th one. Yep, 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 you're gonna think about Seth. Good for you, I'm happy for you. And um, we used up all of that speed, so I think we'll just go ahead and have another. I think we had a, I guess we don't have a triple, we have a double. So it won't be as fast running, but it's definitely a little bit speedier than without it. And this looks like a normal green Lazafa, so there you go. Have you fall to your doom, line up that shot, and just finish you off. Will you drop any arrows for us? No, you won't. Okay, who else is going for us now? You over there, our teammates, our friends, are able to get you. I'll grab that Aracuda Eye. We'll keep it moving. We are getting really close to the end of this. I'm so excited to see how this is gonna happen. So I guess we should do the shrine first, if not anything else. I mean, I don't know what else will be here. Yeah, there's just a puddle here. Whoa. I don't know what the deal is with that. So if there's the puddle, let's do the shrine first, just in case we need it. Right over here, this is the Gemimic Shrine, or Gemimic Shrine, at the Akala Highlands. Oh man. So we've made it into another shrine. This is Turbine Power. Ooh. Okay, so I do see some kind of turbine in the center. It looks like we'll need electric current to make this work. Do we have anything? What about this? Okay, we can, oh, put this here, I suppose? I'm guessing this is gonna spin once it's like electrified, if I'm not mistaken. But what's gonna carry the current? I'm a bit confused. Oh, okay, here we go. We'll get this platform and put it there. And then that starts spinning. But that doesn't do much. A little confused on. Am I supposed to do something more with that? I mean, I'd imagine something with these. But what exactly? Can I interact with these at all? I can't. What if I just did this? And then, no. Okay, that doesn't stay up there. I just don't quite understand what the purpose is. That works, which is good, but what does that do, you know? Um. Oh, well maybe I can use it to get up? Yes, I can. Gotcha. Oh, I got these over here, and they'll do something. So I'm just gonna combine all these just so that we can get them over there more easily. But it looks like there's a treasure chest on that side. So I would like to just get it there. It's looking very weakly over here. Get this to boost me up once more, and that should be just enough height for us to get up here and get this treasure chest. Cool. And with that, we get the mighty Zonite Shield, which 50 defense, durability up is great, but so is this one. Um, so it's more or less the same. <laughs> I'll do that, we'll get back down here and see what the goal is. It looks like there's, you know, a bunch of these things that I guess are like fire receptacles, but, ah, ah I'm lighting myself on fire. Okay, I gotta be careful here. <laughs> I'm getting hurt. Do I put this here? Does that do anything? Ah, I don't think it does. So what is my goal now? Whoa, whoa, hey, wait, what did, why did that just suddenly spit out water and only for a second? Does that, well, what did I do? Um, I don't know. Is there anything else here that can carry a current? Does my weapon carry a current? Drop. I don't think it would, but maybe it does. What made that water spit out? I, I think it happened right as I swung my weapon. Can I activate these? No. What did that? I'm so confused. Um, I still can't attach these here. So like, that's what I'm trying to answer is like, how do I open this door? 
I'm so confused. Oh, I see. So it looks, oh. Um, can I light these all in time? Maybe? What if I just did this? There you go. Did that work? I think that worked. I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do. I think I was supposed to attach it to the fan somehow. <laughs> I didn't realize that they were trying to set those on fire. Well, there we go. That was such a weird shrine. All in all, I don't know what I was doing there, but we got through it one way or another. We get ourselves another orb, we can head out of here. So we're back out of the shrine. There's only one thing left to do, and it is to figure out this uh, current objective, which it was this main quest up here that we saw before. Here, hold on, like this. Uh, the dragon's tears. Are we finally coming up to the end of it? I sure hope so. So I will just examine this and see what happens. After finding all 11 of the previous dragon's tears, we will get ourselves yet another memory. This one fresh from the eye of the dragon. What could this be? I'm dying to know, I'm so curious. That's the Temple of Time. Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. The sword will continue to gain strength if bathed in sacred power. The stronger that power, the more powerful the sword becomes. After all, you possess more than power over time. You have a sacred power that can dispel evil. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. Minoru, I'm counting on you. I can't believe this is happening. She's going to become a dragon. Link. I will restore the Master Sword for you. I will care for it until the time comes. I will pour my sacred power into it. It will be the weapon that defeats the Demon King. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. You must. Oh no. Will Zelda really lose herself? This is intense. Hold on, Zelda. Protect them all. Oh man. This is crazy. She actually became the dragon. It's beautiful. Oh no. And 
and that is how all of the Dragon's Tear memories were born. And she's been flying through the skies ever since. I can't believe it. Whoa. And all the sages were watching too. So, in a way, Zelda has always been in the present. In fact, was there maybe a point where technically there was two Zeldas? If this dragon's been flying around ever since, then yeah. What do we do now? Even Link seems a bit stumped. Uh-oh. Well, here she comes. Ooh, this is sort of spooky. So is that really Zelda? If she lost herself? Oh, it's so gorgeous, too. The lights emanating from the Master Sword on her head. The Dragon's Tears complete. No way. Memories have now been added to the Memories Log. Tears of the Dragon, which is number 17, memory number 17. After leaving the Purapad in Minero's care, Zelda swallows the Secret Stone, holding a hope for Link's future in her heart. As bright, lo bright light washes over her, Zelda transforms into the light dragon, roaring as she ascends into the sky. Tears fall from her eyes and rain from the heavens as light dragon vanishes into an expanse of clouds. That is really something. Very intense. And of course, the dragon's tears main quest is completed, so I want to read that for sure, which would have been where? Right here. You visited all of the geoglyphs and witnessed all of the memories in the Dragon's Tears. These visions showed you Princess Zelda sacrificing herself, becoming the Light Dragon, and hoping to eventually entrust the Master Sword to you. You must honor the Princess's wish. Somehow. How do we do that? I guess we'll have to find a way to the Dragon. Should I go back to, like, Pura? Maybe Pura has some ideas? We're getting a million silent princesses, by the way. Cool, <laughs> I didn't think I could ever get this many, but here we are, so now we have like 55 of them. Where is it flying off to? If I had to guess, maybe somewhere above us. Maybe not directly above us, because that's what that is. We'll have to find a way to try to catch up to Zelda, the light dragon, but I don't quite know how to do that right now, so maybe just something to do some other time. We also have some silent rooms around here, so I'll grab those, but what an experience that was. I guess I should try to chase after her and fight her soon, but I don't know if now is a good time for that. I don't know. We definitely need that Master Sword, so I want to find my way over, but I guess in the meantime, we'll fight some of these enemies, if possible, and get your attention. I don't want to fight them in the water, so I just want to try to get them over here. Because I'm sure there's some kind of flight pattern, right? Okay, you're going to try to... Beat me up. I'm gonna try to beat you up. That smasher broke. Now I can throw this one at you too. That one's really hurt. Uh, we got this one too. So, ready? It's hard for me to attack in the water, guys, so please stop hitting them towards the water. All right, well, looks like they're determined to do that, so I will just have a, a little bit of a water battle here. We'll try to back it up a little bit and see if they chase us. But I don't think there's too much more left to do in this area, so we'll just continue to back up a little bit. Come on, come on over, just a little bit more. I'm gonna hide behind here and then fight you. Come on, getting a little bit closer with it. I just wanna knock you out. Don't knock them into the water. Back it up, you know about, dude, <laughs> what is your problem? Come on, one more swipe, should do the trick. There it is. That was sort of painful to deal with, but we'll grab all this stuff for sure. It's another Steel Lysel bow, which, I mean, they're good. If we can drop, what is our next weakest thing? We have one for 38 damage over here. 
it's actually weaker than that. So never mind. we'll leave that one be. But there was some Octorok stuff over here I definitely want to grab. And I, ow, come on. I guess if there's anything else to do, I should look around for some other shrines around Akala. Get the Mighty Porgy, Octobaloon, Octorok Eyeball. And then I think towards the end of today's episode, we'll try to find our way to, um, what is it called? The, um, the lookout landing. Talk to Pura about everything. See if she has any updates on like what we can do. I mean, I think that right now, our main focus, of course, is taking out that dragon. So I think that next episode, we'll just have a full on dragon showdown. Not only will we try that one, but maybe I could try to find all of the other dragons. I think that'd be really cool. So we'll have to wait and see if that's the case. But right now, I'm heading out here where hopefully there's not any more Octoroks to beat me up. So it's been like, or swim like this. Speaking of spinning, I can also get this equipped. It'll help us move a little bit faster. And I think we'll actually be able to get to the other side, okay. There's a shrine not too far off from here that I definitely want to get, which I don't think we have gotten. Yeah, definitely not. So, want to rush over there as soon as possible and get that done. Just like this. You can sort of see it off in the distance. This might be a giant rock monster. It really looks like it. They have so many people on top of there. But they're all blue vocal points, which does make it easier to handle. Hold on. Let's do this. Launch that stuff over and booms and a bunch of them flying. Whoever still has health can be knocked out pretty easily. Okay, I do see you. Because I actually have to hit you. There you go. Gotcha. Ow! What was that? Did somebody actually launch another explosive at us? I didn't even see it. All right, I ate up some more food. We're gonna try this again. That was so ridiculous, but it's okay. I will launch this back over, knock out two of them straight away. It was you, that wasn't so bad. And then a couple more foes to fight. I do see this one way over this way. I don't know if we can quite get you, but you know what, some of them are on fire. You know, it was probably the rock from the actual monster that we dealt with it. Ow, did they just have like a backpack full of bomb flowers? Is that the idea? I think that might actually be the issue. That is crazy if that's the case, but we're gonna get rid of you. I know you're about to try to throw me off here. I don't appreciate it one bit. I hope you know that. This is a battle talus. I think we, we've dealt with quite a few of these. I know you're about to throw a rock at me or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is, there it is. Right back at you, buddy. I don't even wanna deal with that. Ooh, that's gotta hurt, right? That's gonna send you falling over. I will ascend through here and we will just get as strong of a weapon as I can muster to break this thing open. And I guess a rock hammer might be a better idea anyways. Okay, well, I don't know why I thought that was a heavier weapon, so I'm just gonna keep smashing with this. I know you're about to throw me over. I, I don't like that it doesn't throw us upwards. It always, oh geez, come on. I don't wanna miss this. I missed it. <laughs> okay, switch back to this so that I can be ready. But that did make a lot of fire. So you know what, I can use that to go up here and then maybe just land on top of you. Please, please, are you kidding me? Spinning around like that, such a big guy. Send it back, send it back. Come on, that's pretty good. I'm going up, I'm going up. Got it. Okay, we should be able to finish you off with this one, right? Just keep swinging. I'm very focused in on it. I think we'll be able to get it. A couple more hits is all we need. Got it. Whoa, now we get sent flying. But I'm so glad we got it done. And the treasure chest is waiting for us too. Okay, well, let's run around and see what cool stuff we got. Bunch of rocks, of course, mostly amber. I'm able to grab all of those and these. And some more arrows over here, which I definitely need to. Okay, crazy experience. I'll get the, the talus hammer thing in a moment. We get a sapphire. Okay, I'll take it. So, do I have any kind of heavier weapons? Oh yeah, I got the sturdy thick stick. That would be great. Combo with this, we have the stone talus heart. That'll be breaking stuff up for a good while. I do see another shrine over that way, but that is for the other stable. So we'll get there. Soon enough, we'll definitely get there. I think for now it'd be worth the focus on the shrine. And then maybe after that one, we'll head back to lookout landing just to catch up with Pura. You can still see the light dragon up there. I think the best way to get to that is probably just jumping off one of the islands and then just trying to land on the dragon, right? I'd imagine, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. 
Okay, so I'm running off here as much as I can so that we can activate this one shrine. Every shrine we activate, of course, is a huge advantage because it means we can travel the map a bit more. And this one is no less the case. The Sinatanika Shrine uh, here in Akala Highlands. Let's give it a try. All right, we've made it back. Or I guess back into a new shrine. Combat training, sneak strike. Okay, we're gonna be combating with people. We should change our gear. Something like that seems like a good plan to me. What can we do in here then? Whoa, that looks like a new construct, doesn't it? The coloring is odd. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'll try to take a quick picture of it. This shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Approach the enemies back with, without being noticed and deal a surprise attack. I'll give it my best shot. Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. Okay, crouch. We can crouch like that. Before we do, like I said, I wanna try to take a picture of it just to see. Okay, training construct. It's actually something we've taken a picture of before. So let's switch just to a weapon I can swing a little bit more easily. I mean, I don't know if it'll count if it's a long stick. Trying to watch where they're looking so we can really get a sneaky kind of a advantage over here. Maybe I should unequip this stuff because it does technically make, oh no, that's not what I wanted. Why did I get uncrouched? That was baloney. The enemy noticed you, a result of your inexperience. Try again from the start. Okay. Approach the enemies back without being noticed and deal a surprise attack. I know. I got it this time. The game was just being silly. Yep, yep, yep. We'll crouch. So, starting here. I wanted to look to the other side first before we move. Got it. Okay, now I can run over pretty quick. One thing we want to do is wait here. Maybe. Ooh, no, I think we're fine. We're fine. That was a little close. But if I can sneak up from here, I can focus in on you. We can get that sneak attack. Ready, and boom. Did that work? I think that worked. How did that not work? The enemy noticed you because I hit them. <laughs> that was the sneak attack. Did that not kill this or is like a specific like thing I have to press? I don't know. Okay, I'm getting really close this time until it actually gives me the prompt to sneak strike. That's what I needed. Well done. That's all I needed to do, I'm so silly. Whoops, that's okay, we got through it. And now what? We're back here. Approach the patrolling enemies back on notice and deal a surprise attack. So this one might be a little bit more difficult. Because as you can see, it's patrolling around. So we'll want to pay attention to its pattern and try to learn what exactly we can do here. It looks like it might be going from corner to corner. I mean, right now, it's just looking back and forth a lot right over there. I gotta be really careful here. But I could just not uncrouch. It's gonna be looking in that corner for a good moment. Come on, we're almost there, almost there. No way, get out of here. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, that's fine. I know, result of our experience. I feel like we were so close to it, like, but it didn't turn around just yet. Okay, I'm trying again. Now we know it's pattern a little bit more. So we know that's gonna go up that way. It's gonna take a turn and really examine that corner. When it's done, it's gonna go down that way. So if we just wait here, it should turn soon. This is our chance to sneak up and strike. Just like that, it really has quite the, the turn with the neck, but we're able to get it one way or another, and it looks like that actually solves our problem. Cool. You have proven your mastery. <laughs> now proceed to the innermost chamber. Master is one way to put it. Um, But hey, we got through it. That's what matters. And construct bow. Don't really need it, so we will leave that one. But I will run over here and open up this treasure chest. Maybe there'll be something cool inside. What do we got? A sneaky elixir, very topical. We get stealth up for nine minutes. Really good stuff. And of course, another orb here. So we will take this one and head back to, um, uh, what's it called? Overlook Town, whatever. 
So we're back at Lookout Landing, now with the Dragon's Tears mission completed. I wanted to catch up with Pearl a little bit, just to sort of see what's next. I wanna see if she has any feedback with everything that has now transpired about our memories with Zelda. Ah. Linky, welcome back. And the Master Sword, any luck? From the look on your face, I can see that's now. Hmm. According to Sage Mineru, Princess Zelda said to ask the Great, great Dicket Tree about the Master Sword. You'll find them at the center of Great Hyrule Forest in the north of here. The Master Sword is the key to defeating the Demon King. You need to do whatever it takes to find it, Linky. Mm -hmm. Princess Zelda entrusted us with her final wishes. We can't let them come to nothing. By the way, where are your clothes? You've got a lot of people who look up to you, so while I appreciate you exercising freedom, maybe show a little restraint. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> forgot about that part. But I guess she doesn't have much to say about the fact that Zelda is a dragon now. <laughs> so I really don't know what to do next. Maybe we should go fight the dragons. I don't know if there's like a specific way I'm supposed to find or encounter the, the dragons besides just jumping out of the sky, landing on top of it and giving a good swing. Or should we go to the Great Hyrule Forest first? I mean, if there's more details about the Master Sword there, that's where I just get so confused. Apparently we need to go here for the Master Sword, but it's clearly on the dragon. So which one do I do first? I don't know. I guess we'll find out in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.